uh, we decided that beyond the seven and the eight and the 20, <coughs> that it's now time to call on all the nations of the civilized world uh, to join these efforts and to work uh, cooperatively to secure agreements and where it's necessary treaties and changes in law that the individual circumstances may require to assure that there's no place in the civilized world where terrorist money and terrorist financing has support or, or protection or even an agnostic indifference. Uh, I believe that decisive action has been taken right across the world, uh, first of all by the cuts in interest rates that have happened in all the major financial centers, uh, secondly by the discussions that we've been having uh, on the future growth prospects of the world economy, uh, our concerns about oil, our action uh, to uh, deal with the problems uh, in some cases in the aircraft industry, and our determination that we will continue cooperation so that we do whatever is necessary to maintain the conditions for stability and growth in the world economy. Uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, the uh, committee chair says that uh, the president is committed to bringing forward needed measures to increase economic growth. What types of measures uh, does that uh, mean? I may say that uh, from what we have discussed today, uh, the feeling of unity and the feeling of confidence is very strong. Uh, the terrorists have been able, unfortunately, to kill thousands of people here. And they wanted to kill, too, our economies and to divide the world. But uh, economy is resisting. And uh, we are united with a large number of countries. We strongly believe that the current monetary policy stance is consistent with the maintenance of price stability. When the recovery will start, maybe it already has started, but certainly around the turn of the year, we expect the economy to be in an upward move.